The timeline of the Israel-Hamas conflict is long and convoluted, filled with moments of hope and despair. The roots of the conflict lie in the late 1940s, with the establishment of the State of Israel, an event that displaced hundreds of thousands of Palestinians. This displacement spurred the formation of various Palestinian resistance movements, one of which was Hamas, created in 1987 during the First Intifada, or Uprising. The 90s saw a glimmer of hope with the Oslo Accords, which aimed to establish a Palestinian state existing peacefully alongside Israel. However, the assassination of Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin in 1995 and the subsequent collapse of the peace process saw the situation escalate once more. The turn of the century brought with it the Second Intifada, a period of intense violence and bloodshed. This culminated in 2005 with Israel's unilateral disengagement from Gaza, a move that was seen by some as a victory for Hamas. Fast forward to 2007, and Hamas takes control of Gaza after a bloody conflict with Fatah, the dominant party of the Palestinian Authority. This event triggers an Israeli and Egyptian blockade of Gaza, which continues to this day. In the years that follow, there are several major military confrontations between Israel and Hamas, including Operation Cast Lead in 2008, Operation Pillar of Defense in 2012, Operation Protective Edge in 2014, and the most recent conflict in May 2021. Now that we have traversed the winding path of the conflict's history, it is time to summarize the key takeaways from this journey. The Israel-Hamas conflict is deeply rooted in history, with both sides laying claim to the same land. The peace process has been fraught with obstacles, and despite numerous attempts at negotiations, a long-lasting resolution remains elusive. Hamas's control of Gaza has led to a prolonged blockade that has caused immense suffering for the people of Gaza. However, Israel's military actions are often seen as disproportionate, leading to widespread international condemnation. In the end, the question remains, is Israel fighting a losing battle against Hamas in Gaza? Or is this a conflict where there are no winners, only losers? The answer is complex and fraught with nuances, just like the conflict itself. What remains clear, however, is the urgent need for a peaceful resolution that respects the rights and aspirations of both Israelis and Palestinians. Only then can there be hope for a future where children on both sides can grow up without the constant fear of war.